every season in Marbula One has featured this racetrack. Here in Orlando, the home of the O-Rangers, as the series returns once again to the O-Raceway. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The home track has not been kind to the O-Rangers. They are yet to score a point here, even though Clementon did get one in qualifying yesterday. How will things shake up for this race? Well, all of the teams are using their other marble than what we saw in the first race. So it's wide open. Yes, some of the same teams are up there, but how will their teammates from race one compete today? We will have to see as Billy sits on pole, a familiar position for that marble. The winner of the very first visit to the O-Raceway back in season one also got fastest lap that year. Team Momo is fast here. The Chocolatiers have also won. That was last season. And the Chocolatiers are up there again. It's Billy and Swifty on the front row. And we're rolling. Billy with the better start and covers off Swifty. Clementon falls back two, three, four positions and is dropping greatly. Ecto comes up in the third. Royal in fourth after a bump with Club. Clementon back there in sixth as they head under the sand for the first time. There's Royal. Shoots by. Billy can do nothing to stop the Cobalts. They go up into first. Swifty also gets by. Here's Ecto now, trying to pressure Billy. He looks at the inside on Swifty, but can't get it done. Three hundredths of a second separating second and third. Royal, first off the belt. It's nearly a three wide launch coming off there as we get a great look through sector number one and the entrance to that sand portion. Royal, Pinky Winky now into second place. What's Swifty gonna do? Goes right down the middle and is trying to shoulder them aside. Can't get it done. Royal holds the lead. There was contact between them, however. Pinky Winky gets by in that slow corner as they head on to that short shoot. Royal bends off Swifty this time, but does get fastest lap Swifty does at 28-1-3. Remember, that is worth championship points in Modular One. The top two beginning to separate themselves. Pinky Winky was holding back Billy. Ecto is up there. Glimmer, Frost, Clementon, Red Eye, who started dead last and is now into the top 10. Misty and Club back in 11th now. Nice moves there from, uh, what's that, Raspberry Racers, I believe. Rizzy made up a couple of spots on the sand. There's Billy trying to get in the draft of Pinky Winky just off camera there. Six hundredths of a second. Royal and Swifty up front. We get a new fastest lap from Tumult all the way back in 19th, whose teammate finished some 20 seconds behind the entire field in the first Grand Prix. A bit more speed, it looks like Swifty to the first sector. How do they handle the sand? Swifty is staying off of the walls, but so is Pinky Winky, who is one light back. Red Eye continues to climb and is now up into fifth after starting in 20th. Bumble falling all the way back to last. Sirius is just in front. And now three tenths, Royal with a bit of breathing room, but only two steps between them coming off of the belt. And it might be a fairly even launch, but trouble on the attenuator for Swifty, and that loses a few lengths. Pinky Winky still doing a great job, a valiant effort to hold on to third spot, but for how much longer? And I can no sooner get it out than Ecto goes by into third. There you see Red Eye in the distance. Coming through here, Bolt gets by Rizzy on the sand. Rizzy has kind of struggled off and on on that sand portion. The Rangers have struggled overall. They are not making up positions, holding in 10th right now. Royal, Swifty, Ecto, Red Eye gains another one in fourth. Pinky, Winky, Glimmer, Billy, Misty, Frost, who just gets by Misty. Clementon rounds out the top 10 as Club gets by. Oh, great move there. Swifty to get second place, coming onto the sand. Here's Ecto and has it back by the time they exit. That completes sector number two, that white line that you see just after that right-hander coming off of the sand. We are nearly halfway done with this second Grand Prix. The field still relatively bunched close with a little bit of separation here and there. Up front, Royal holds the lead, Ecto. Red Eye has gotten by Swifty. This is the Red Eye that we are used to seeing, not the dead last in qualifying Red Eye, who was the individual champion in Modular One one season ago. This is a nice charge. And first is Ecto's. As always here at the O-Raceway, managing the sand is key to a great lap time and perhaps a victory. Still many laps to go though. Ecto, over Royal, Red Eye, Glimmer, Swifty has fallen back to fifth, Pinky Winky sixth, Frost, Misty, Rizzy, and Billy in tenth. The Rangers' home hopes have fallen all the way down to 17th now. 
going backwards is Clementon. Tumult still holds fastest lap down there in 15th. Red Eye in third, going right down the center there. And banking in between those walls is not what you want to do as you come down the sand, and that's precisely what Clementon was doing. Now down in second to last. Ecto, half a second clear on Royal. Red Eye, another second and a half back. Swifty and Glimmer, how's the launch coming here through sector number one? Nearly all of the marbles in the top five or six opting for that inside line coming into that right hairpin in sector number one. A couple are choosing to go over that attenuator. Look at the speed they're carrying here as they descend onto the sand. Is anybody going to make some big moves here? Well, we had a couple of launches almost to the Chocolatiers farther back, but they couldn't complete that one as they sit in dead last. Chocolatiers, of course, winners at this race last year. Bon Bon was the victor in that one. Ecto, Royal, Swifty has recovered and gotten back by Red Eye for third spot. Trying to hold on to that last step of the podium. Glimmer, Pinky Winky, Billy, slowly recovering, was first, comes down here to seventh. We've got a battle for the lead, side by side, and Royal gets by, exiting the sand. Royal, perhaps, taking a few laps to regather to figure out what challenge is needed for the final few laps of this Grand Prix. A tenth and a half between them. Royal and Ecto, Cobalt versus Team Plasma. They are five lengths apart. Swinging around through this first sector. They go to the inside. Royal covering off that move, but there. Oh, on the exit, briefly. Ecto got by. Will it stick? No. Royal fights back. Trading positions. And Royal handling the sand much better. Able to get a gap. Coming down here onto the front stretch. In front of the podium. Who will be standing on it? At the moment, it's our top two, and now Red Eye has gotten back up there. Swifty has fallen back. Glimmer is going to try to charge on Red Eye. Tumult up to 12, still holds fastest lap. The Rangers, 19. Let's not talk about that. Royal, a couple of laps to go now with a nice gap over Ecto, but Red Eye closing in on second place, trying to make amends for what was a disappointing start to the season. Doing much better here, this field of staying pretty close, even though the Bumblebees are not going to be happy with their finishing positions. That serious, weaving in between, challenging there, almost gaining three spots in two corners. Final lap, as they come down through the sand for the final time. Royal has to keep it clean. Try to get up there and finish P1. Ecto is also trying to hold on to second place. How close is Red Eye? Very close. One length between them. On the charge down through the final turn, Royal will win. Ecto holds off last year's champion for second place. And the crazy cat's eyes are back on the podium. Clementon dead last. After a decent starting position, 17 spots lost for the O-Rangers who, boy, they personify the host curse when they come to this Grand Prix. On the flip side to that 17 loss is the crazy cat's eyes red eye up 17. Nine positions gained for Royal to come up to the front. That is impressive for the Cobalts. Royal in Marbula 1 has now won three times. And that is an early challenge from Billy. And that contact let Swifty get by. And that really changed the complexion of the race for the Green Ducks. Congratulations to our podium finishers, even Team Plasma, getting up there. Winners of the Marble League Showdown in 2022 try to carry that success over into Marbula 1. Well, there we see the combined standings. Now that each marble on each team has raced once, Cloudy and Royal, the two winners of the races, then Speedy and Momo are up there. Nice for Ecto over Red Eye, who has the vast majority of Crazy Cat Size points from just this one Grand Prix. Savage Speeders hold the lead, 33 points to the Cobalt's 32, but they jump up seven positions. Oof, O'Rangers down six after the second round. Thunderbolts down there in dead last one of just two teams yet to score a point. Will some of them finally break through? Will excellence continue? Lots of storylines abound, and we hope you will keep with us for Marbula One.